I gave a little talk about immunosenescence, and uh, I thought it's important to point out that physetin is one of the most important, you know, nutraceuticals, these polyphenol uh, bioflavonols that <laughs> can get rid of senescent cells. That's the coolest thing about physetin. Um, there's a way to do it. I mean, I take 500 milligrams a day, and that's good to get, you know, a few senescent cells taken care of every day in between my dry fast. But every now and then I do the uh, hit and run philosophy, you know, and that goes along with these mice that uh, they treat in the, in the uh, laboratories with high doses of physetin. Uh, if you calculate the weight differences between a human and a mouse, you'd have to take about 1,500 milligrams a day to bump and run, which is where you really stimulate the re, uh, reduction of the senescent cells, and uh, <laughs> it has a magical effect. So you can see in these pictures, these mice are twins, and it, the one on the right has been fed physetin. As you can see, he's got his hair back, his cognitive function back, uh, motility back, all that kind of stuff. And that's what physetin can do for you. It also can do it for your stem cells. Stem cell senescence in the immune cells is the source of immunosenescence. I mean, stem cells are just cells. They can be insulted by toxic chemicals and radiation and all kinds of stuff that impede their ability through successive generations of replications to be able to make fresh, healthy immune cells. If they've got code violations, they're going to pass it on when they make these uh, the immune cells. So the way they get rid of that is to take the physitin. You know, I do 3,000 milligrams a day for about a week to 10 days. And what that does, it gives me a huge boost in getting rid of, of senescent cells. You know, they gave the mice 1,500. There's no toxic dose for physitin. There's no contradictions. There's no Little, you know, bad reactions with it. But when you take 3,000 a day, you get rid of a lot more than in that study. And I've noticed this. In fact, women that have taken this kind of hit and run thing, their ovaries start working again. Elderly women, because they get rid of the senescent cells. Why do they work? Well, senescent cells secrete toxic cytokines and toxic chemicals that damage surrounding cells, including surrounding stem cells. So it's like the bad apple in the barrel scenario. So do some physitin, man. You know, physitin is great. It, uh, again, it kills senescent cells. Removing the pressure off the biological cellular system by taking away these cells that are pumping out these toxic chemicals only makes it easier for them to do what they have to do in all the niches. They communicate with your normal cells. Your stem cells produce immune cells that communicate and read the information on, that's going on in your cellular system to tell the immune cells how to fix your system. So if your stem cells are broken and they're not making the, the, the immune cells that you need to stay healthy, it's the source of immunosenescence and uh, a lot of the damage that is being done as you age. Because this is a toxic planet. There's 80,000 chemicals in the past 50 years that have been added to this biosphere. We don't have a climate crisis. We have a habitat crisis. You know, it's one we can fix it because it's one we did. You know, so all this stuff about the climate you know, is expecting the sun not to rise the next day. It's going to rise. But are we going to be there? Because this habitat is so polluted now. It's in the water, it's in the food, it's the chemicals put on the food, sprayed on the food, dried on the food, made in the processed foods. So as I say in Neogenesis, yeah, it's probably a good idea to limit the amount of foods that damage you in between dry fast because it'll reduce the amount of crud you have to get rid of. And that's good because when you're doing a dry fast and you have a very low level of toxic storage, that dry fast is devoted to replacing your cells with brand new stem cells and, and stem cells with a lot longer lifespan. You're repairing yourself from the inside out. You can't do that with diet. You can't do that with intermittent fasting and you know fasting modifications and the you know the 80 shades of fasting some of these guys talk about. You know, and it's not done with specific types of eating schedules and so forth. And all the things that people say to take and eat to help your immune system, you know, it's a good idea. But it's not the same as getting rid of the toxins that are causing the need to have those foods go in to try to fix the immune system. Anyway, Physitin, man, it's the best. It's easy to get. Here's the one I like. It's the one I have out on the market because it's pure, 100% Physitin. No fillers, no excipients, and uh, it's, you know, the best, I think. So anyway, yeah, take some physitin. I think you'll be happy because you're going to get rid of the problems. These cells make the problems in the body.